Hey guys, welcome to my scrappiness. Hey guys, it's Marissa and look what we have here. We have our September 2020 uh, Kiwi Lane Club Kit. And again, this is a collaboration with my uh, creative partners from Kiwi Lane. I will put down their links to their videos using this club kit for September 2020. And you'll see the different arrays of uh, styles that we all have. And as you know, I do simple, fast, quick, and easy layouts. And I hope you do like my style. So without further ado, let's go guys. I'm so excited for this. I love it. Pocket full of sunshine. How wonderful. It's so cute. All right, so let's open it up. These are the templates that go with this kit. And as usual, we do have sets here that are special for the month that are 15% off. I will also put my Kiwi Lane link down, down at the description below. So if you want to check this out, you can do so or even subscribe to the club kit guys you will i'm sure if you have been watching me doing this club kits they are a steal oh my gosh um let's start off with the templates guys so i love this picket fence i'm just looking at it i was like how cute it's called homegrown five and then we have this pocket the jeans pocket and it's homegrown four this is the sunflower and is homegrown three. The stem and the leaves is homegrown two. And then of course the center of the flower is homegrown one. Okay, then we also have our pocket cards. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what we have here. I'm gonna go through them fast as I normally do and show you the design of each of them. So this is a three by four, so I'm gonna go through it fast. And then our four by fours. And then our four by sixes. Okay guys, let's go to our papers and thank goodness they have the corner protectors. It actually truly protects the corners of our papers. So anyway, without further ado, our 12 by 12 papers guys. Okay, guys, I'll be right back for a layout. I have to look for pictures and think of a layout. And I'm back and I'm going to attempt a two-page layout today. And I will have all this, I actually have all this um, templates here that I'm going to use for this layout. So I have here the homegrown one, which is the center of the flowers, basically. Homegrown three, which is the actual sunflower. And then I took out Nature 5T, and I plan to layer those two. And then I have here Aspen Court, and I'm taking both of this, and this is 2A and 2B. And then we have Aspen Court, 1a and 1b basically they'll marry up this way and these are the pictures that i'm going to use i know two page two pictures right yeah then i'm going to use this four by six card i love the saying on this it says keep your face in the sunshine and you cannot see the shadows and it's and it's what the sunflowers do i'm also going to bring in thicker smart key for my title I've already used this on previous layouts. And I'm also going to bring in, I know it's a little bent and out of shape, but I'm going to bring this in. Uh, this is a basil card stock. I'm going to use this uh, for the center of the sunflower. 
Okay, I'm gonna start cutting my papers. So I'm going to start by cutting straight lines using this. I'm going to cut half an inch of this piece of paper here. I will need two. And then I'm going to turn this around because I will need this and I will cut here a one and a half and a two inch. Off of this paper, I'll need a three incher and a four inch. So I'm going to use this uh, for uh, templates, Aspen Court, uh, 1A and 1B. But because this is darker and I'm sure you won't be able to see the, uh, the pencil mark, I'm going to turn this over. And when I turn this over, the paper over, I am also going to turn over the templates. That way, the direction of the templates, the way I wanted them on the layout, of course, some of, some of them would probably not matter, but um, in my case, I'm a little OCD that way. So I'm go I turned them over and I'm going to use my mat. I am going to take off one inch off of this bottom here because this template here at the highest point on this set end here is a little over two and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is scoot this down about an inch using my mat and then we're going to trace. Now when we trace, we basically trace this other half. So what I'm going to do now is scoot this down, scoot this template down by about an, an inch. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and I'm going to use it that way. So this is what I'm going to cut later. This is the uh, paper that I'm going to use, but it's so busy. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it over. Now, if you notice this templates, this is already skinny. I'm happy with the, with the skinniness of this template here. I'm not going to touch that. However, this one is longer. So I'm going to take away about half an, uh, or about an inch again off of this. So again, I turned over the paper, so I'm, I'm gonna turn over the templates. So I'm going to arrange the paper as we did with the other one. Take this down by an inch and trace. So again, as I had mentioned, since we did this, it basically mirrors this. So we don't have to trace that. What I'm going to do though is line it so I know where to cut. Right here is a straight line. I'm going to use my trimmer. It's now time to cut this. I'm going to use this part here for tracing our flower, sunflower here. So I am making three of these flowers, guys. And we're making this as the embellishments. It's time to ink, guys. There's a lot of elements here that we have to ink. So I'm going to skew it a bit, just a bit like that. And I'm going to use my uh, wet glue. Just put a dab here in the middle. And then it'll give me time to try and position it the way I want to. I think I'll do it this way. And then I'll put a dab in the center. And then there's our sunflower. So pretty. Okay, let's get started on our layout. 
I'm gonna start with the left side first. So what I want to do is use this, put it here, put this here, this one over here, take this back. I'm gonna use this one. So basically I got the uh, two inch on this side, the two inch and the three inch on this side. So I'm gonna put this over here. I am going to put this over here. Then we're going to get my daughter. Take out the sides of the, uh, I printed this from my Canon selfie, guys. What I'm thinking of doing is having that go over here on this end. And I'm thinking of putting the flower over on this side. I'm gonna put Gian over here, my daughter here, over here. Put this over here like so. I like that. I'm going to take this a bit, put our adhesive on here. Oh my gosh, I need a new adhesive here in a few minutes. going to skew this because I want the sunflower to fit over here to about an inch over and then we'll put the sunflower over there I'm gonna use a wet glue for this so that is our left side okay let's move on to the right side of the uh, layout we're basically going to move this over and change it up over here. So on this side, we're going to put this, this, and this over here. So let me do that now. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to lay this together as such. That way I know where to lay this so it'll at least be aligned. So I'm gonna scoot this down a bit. I'm gonna put the flower over here and then we'll put the title up there. Then we're gonna put the flower over here. And then I'm going to get our letters and then we're going to spell my daughter's name. My daughter's name is Jian. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I got fat fingers, so I'd rather use my tweezers here. Okay guys, I finished my two page layout. This is my first two page layout in a while. So I hope you do like it. Uh, There's a lot of sunflowers here though, but I hope you do like it. This is my daughter, Gian. And yeah, this is perfect. I love this. This, this picture was taken. Uh, we took a road trip to Idaho to watch the eclipse. I know, a few years later. Anyway guys, I hope you like this uh, layout. I enjoyed working on it. Hope you enjoyed watching how my thought process is and my scrapbook process as I create this layout. Don't forget to make a comment down in the comment section below, guys. This is a collaborative video. And also, please don't forget to uh, look into the other videos of my creative partners and make comments there too. We will put all the comments together and draw for a grand prize winner of a template of your choice. Yes, and I am the sponsor for this month. So uh, don't forget to make a comment down the section below. Thank you so much and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.